Today on OsoGrandeKnives.com, we're looking at the Smith & Wesson Model 3B. This is the Special Ops M9 bayonet. This particular model has a black coating on the 7.8 inch blade. The blade steel is 400 series stainless steel. There are some milled saw teeth along the spine that can use, be used for cutting or wrecking type of operations. There's also a milled uh, groove here in the handle both sides. This side says Smith & Wesson Special Ops with their logo. This is the uh, wire cutter mechanism which is used in conjunction with the built-in wire cutter here on the sheath. What we do is just fit the knife right over that, snap it into place and then you can use it to cut wire and also you can use it to bend wire too by threading it through there and just looping it around until it breaks even without the sheath. There's multiple slots on the sheath, so you can mount it several different ways. There's also a map pouch here on the exterior, Velcro, to keep your map or your first aid or your multi-tool in. It's a built-to-last heavy-duty polymer material sheath. So when you're not carrying it on your weapon, you can keep it in the sheath and wear it on your belt. It also has a uh, polymer handle on there. It's not uh, steel or metal so that it's not going to be cold when you grip it. Here on the back you have your standard bayonet lug which will fit on the bayonet lugs of M16 rifles and any rifle equipped with a uh, compatible bayonet lug. Very common type here. This is the uh, hole that the barrel goes through and it's large enough that it'll fit a barrel with a flash suppressor on it through that same hole. It's a nice thick guard. So you've got a bayonet that doubles very nicely as a multi-purpose survival and fighting style knife as well. It's got very thick blade stock on there so it's a nice sturdy blade. Again it's 400 series stainless steel and it measures in at 7.8 inches. There's a swedge grind on one side of the blade here. The other side does not have the swedge grind. It's got a hollow ground edge down here. And it's reasonably sharp for out of the box. I would want to sharpen it up more. It comes with the, uh, again, the black coated uh, saw back. Overall it measures in at 12.8 inches. You can buy these at OsoGrandeKnives.com. We thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for more knife reviews.